Hey guys, Coach Becca coming to you from Fitness Inspiration Inc. And we are kicking off week two of our 2013 Getting Your Mind Right video series, all right? So last week, um, we kicked off a three-week uh, series where we are going to introduce a new um, mental rep exercise at the beginning of the week. So we talked last week about how it's important to invest as much of your efforts and your energy into training and conditioning your internal self as it is your external self. Because if we don't have our minds right, and if our emotional and our spiritual and, um, and our mental state is not fit and it's not in shape and it's not optimal, it does not matter how hard you train your outside, there's always going to be a gap between where you are right now and where you want to be. We got to have balance. We got to invest and train just as hard on our internal selves. And the way that I believe we can do that is through mental reps. Hence this video log series, okay? So last week, we talked about exercise number one, which was creating your vision and taking time to create a, take a personal now inventory. So for those of you that did it, pull that out. For those of you that didn't, check out last week's video and get the 411 on that because you don't want to miss that step. So this week, exercise number two is about making your decree, okay? Have y'all ever known anybody that has trained all their lives or for a long period of time but never really seemed to get anywhere? It's frustrating. And a lot of times this happens because we don't know where, they don't know where they're going. There's no clarity, lack of focus, no, no vision. And when you don't know where you're going, you end up somewhere else. All right? So to be successful, we got to know where we're going. We've got to have that vision, which is what we started with last week, creating that now and taking that now inventory. Once you've got your vision, you got to make it your decree. This is a powerful statement. It can be several paragraphs long. It can be short. But what it's going to do is announce to you and to the world, if you want, what you are going to make happen for yourself when it comes to your health, fitness, and well-being. Okay? Your decree is a source of inspiration, major power source, and it's going to be the foundation of your commitment and your accountability. A successful decree is going to get you fired up. Every time you think about it, you're going to experience a positive emotional charge. You're going to be driven off that couch. Your soul is going to be stirred. You are going to get up and get after it each time you think about it and every time you see it. That sounds pretty awesome. So it's not a simple goal setting exercise, although goal setting is very important. Your decree is something that you are going to marinate on every single morning, every day when you get up. It's going to get your mind right. It's going to get you moving and it's going to get you out there bringing 100% to everything you do and making sure you improve at least 1% each day. This is power. All right. So how exactly do you write a decree? What you want to do is you want to start by rereading the personal now inventory you did last week, okay? Um, and then you're going to fast forward six months, okay? You've written your vision, you're fast forwarding six months, and you're envisioning how you will, how you will look, function, and feel now that you've made that vision and all those things your reality. I want you to see the improved you, the best me you, and think about things like how is your energy? What do you feel like? You're creating a second part to this vision. You're making a statement about how your health, fitness, wellness, and body image will be, will be in six months. Game changer, people. Powerful. All right? So if you need a couple of journey, uh, journaling tips, think about this. Six months from now, how is your energy? What do your nutritional habits look like? Your stress management happens, um, habits. How many days a week are you exercising? What changes have you made in your approach to your fitness? All right? Journal as if this stuff has already occurred. Imagining six months from now when you're looking back and reflecting on your journey. And to get you guys started on this, start with this sentence and then keep writing on. I am so happy and thankful now that. And fill in the blank thinking about the fact that it's six months from this moment and the improvements that you desire have occurred. You did it, and your vision is now your world and your reality. What does success look like? How does it feel? 
crucial step, guys, so please don't skip it, all right? Remember, it's too easy to just say to yourself that you're really going to do things differently. I'm really going to stick to this plan. And then, you know, you lose your mojo and your fire burns out sometimes after a few days, sometimes a couple of weeks. But just as it has the times of four, like so many other folks who don't have decrees, quitters don't have decrees. High character people and with high performance tendencies know their vision and they honor their commitments. You are a high performer. Make this decree happen and watch your vision become your reality. All right, so that is exercise number two of three. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Okay, positive pressure. Ever heard of accountability? That's what positive pressure is, okay? And your decree is gonna create that positive pressure for yourself. That's why we write it. That's why there's a difference between those who just tell themselves they're gonna do it and those who actually write the decree. There is power in writing it down. It strengthens it and it gives it a strong emotion and power. It's, um, it's written down, you can't hide it. Sometimes when I do mine, I share it with a trusted friend because it's out there and I know I'm not gonna change, I can't change my mind, you can change your mind, but not when it comes to this. So I share my decree, I let them know what I'm thinking, what I'm going after, and then I'm not gonna fail. I'm gonna go after it 100%. So maybe you could share it with somebody um, that you trust and that you know. That way you won't forget and you won't let it slide. So commit right here, right now. Get that decree. Make it happen in 2013. Until I see you next week, believe it, bring it, achieve it. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com. Believe it, bring it, achieve it. Make it a best me day.